When most people think of popular major Australian cities, Sydney or Melbourne are usually at the top of the list. For me, this mindset has changed. Priding itself on 280 days of sunshine per year, offering the most Australian culture, and playing host to the 2032 Summer Olympic Games, it's a city that has captivated me from the very beginning. Welcome to Brisbane, Australia. After arriving to Brisbane Airport, hop on the connected air train to take a 20 minute leisurely ride to the center of the city. Since Brisbane is a medium sized city, I've decided to focus on the four most popular districts around the CBD, downtown, Fortitude Valley, the West End, and the South Bank Riverwalk. I'll start with South Bank first, since it's where I first began my exploration of the city. This is a region where organic architecture seamlessly blends with nature. I was here during the holidays, so all of the pedestrian tunnels were beautifully lit up every night. The big draw in the South Bank is the free public space known as Streets Beach. It's comprised of several makeshift pools overlooking the Brisbane skyline, with a separate artificial beach for those looking to experience the coastline without leaving the city. There are countless places to get a bite to eat nearby, along with an Epicurean garden that offers visitors samples of fresh seasonal produce available for pickup on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's a great sense of community within the shared outdoor space. I enjoyed strolling through the shaded rainforest section here as well, where you can find all sorts of small wildlife, meditation temples, and innovative art installations. Brisbane is in a big construction phase as suburbs are beginning to grow outwards. At the time of this video, a new bridge project was underway to link the South Bank with downtown across the Brisbane River. It is set to open in mid-2023. The West End is a city suburb close to South Bank that is rapidly growing and is popular with young professionals. It's got a ton of alleyways with bars and restaurants, as well as health clubs and sports gyms that include climbing, CrossFit, and yoga. I decided to train at nearby East Side Boxing Gym for a week. It's a great place to work on cardio, technique, and ultimately build camaraderie with fellow martial artists in Brisbane. After training, I hit up one of my favorite places for a quick snack at Anna's Ban Mi. Delicious, filling Vietnamese sandwiches for a great price or just take an indulgence trip at West End's insane amount of frozen gelato storefronts. Across the Brisbane River lies the impressive upscale and endearing neighborhood of Fortitude Valley. This would be a perfect opportunity, if you haven't already, to try out Brisbane's water taxi service. Ferry terminals are located all around the metro and vessels come about every 30 minutes. The City Cat and Kitty Cat boats are paid. Thanks, Cap. However, the City Hopper boat is free of charge, but operates within a limited radius. The Valley waterfront is very reminiscent of Miami Beach, and it's probably my favorite place to hang out in Brisbane overall. Felons Brewing Company is situated right below the Stony Bridge on the water, and its shockingly massive restaurant and beer hall is a great place to enjoy drinks with good company. There is an elevator that takes you up to the street level of Fortitude Valley and within walking distance of the entertainment district. This is where heritage listed properties blend with contemporary and grungy facades. It's known for being Australia's first dedicated entertainment district with live music and shows almost every night. I also recommend stopping by the Powerhouse, 
It's east of Fortitude Valley in the district of New Farm. Basically, it's a decommissioned power station from the 1920s that's been transformed into a vibrant art center ranging from music, theater, comedy, dance, and the digital arts. Moving on, we head to downtown Brisbane, where the glass skyscrapers are mostly constructed around the design of buildings that breathe, creating a lush urban environment. The popular subdivision here is Queen Street Mall, a commercial walking street chock full of high-end retailers, restaurants, and arcades. The Brisbane City Hall sits adjacent to Queen Street, and it was a hot destination for locals to come together, celebrate, and watch the lighting of the tree. Overall, I was blown away by how clean, safe, and downright livable Brisbane was during my short stay in the city. After loading up my TransLink go-kart, I hopped on the train service to take me to the bustling city of Gold Coast, the laid-back, surfer paradise town of Byron Bay, and the easygoing region of Sunshine Coast to close out my travel in Australia. If you like this video and would like to continue following my journey, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.